Hello, Buzzer Cards. My name is Hotsity and welcome back to another episode of uh, Minecraft. Another day in Minecraft. Today, we will tackle yet another problem that has to do with some of the villages up there. Because right bang there in the middle, that's where our ice masons are located. And for trading with them, we need a ton of snow blocks. So that's why today we create a snow farm. And I have already started here with the collection system. Uh, no sorting. Um, and uh, all the excess goes into the flames there. And then here on this side, we spit everything out with uh, two uh, dispensers, two droppers, not dispensers. Uh, and that should be uh, okay because the dispenser has double hopper speed and we actually have five hoppers. So they should be able to keep up but we do need to power these and we do that by powering the block below however um, we need to have um, an observer clock here and we will push these observers down um, with, uh, with sticky pistons. So uh, if I get one over eight, that's better. And then we can feed uh, a hopper can only feed a uh, dispenser at half the speed uh, of the dropper. So we will we have one hopper here in the back and we will have another one here on top. And then also some there. And then we come to the next thing for the collection system. Now this next part is a bit tricky because we have four hoppers and on top we have then the blocks uh, on which the snow is created and the hoppers cannot suck the snowballs through a full block. So what we need here is um, some hopper minecarts. And as they have uh, a double the hopper speed, what we can actually do here is um, place them like this. So you can see it's over the, the back two hoppers. Right, and let's grab Add a piece of rail. Do the same thing here again in the front. With forward, break the rail, and have four uh, of these above. And what we need to do is we need to break the, the fence here in the back. Start moving the minecarts. Right. Then We can have a 
and we're tracing pistons. Um, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit difficult, but we can do it this way. Right, I have one lock in between. Um, let's have a bit of redstone here, lever, boom. That should have put everything in place. They are moved one block down. Then we can remove this temporary block here again. And here you can see the piston on there and here on this side. We will eventually need to power these pistons, so we will do that, and then we have this clock going on, uh, which put out a few things that were in there, and you can see it all gets picked up in these chests. So now I actually can go about and uh, build up the rest of the system. We want to place the snow golem here in this corner. So he sits over these four blocks here on this half slab, which will mean he generates uh, snow layers on these three normal blocks. Uh, which we can then harvest. However, we can of course not drop in or, or generate the golem, the snow golem here on the corner. We have to place it here and then somehow move it uh, in this corner. And that's what this contraption is for. So let me prepare everything for the snow golem. It can be a bit tricky. And as soon as I place the, the pumpkin head, it will drop down and basically be trapped in there. And then, yep, that's, that's how we want it. And there we have it in here. And you can see this piston extended, this did not because we tried to push two fences uh, in here. So break this and this, uh, that should be all good. Uh, we do not need that one as well. Uh, what we want to do is place solid blocks above the snow golem because it does not like rain too much. Uh, it melts in the rain. Uh, so we want to prevent that. Uh, and then have that also here and basically extend that uh, on all sides so we have a what is it four by four yeah that looks right and then I think um, we need a bit of lighting up here just to prevent any spawns Right, and that's basically the farm 
done. So let's check. Uh, we have a bit of uh, this in here. Otherwise, good. Which means we can close this off, place the ladder there, and then we can basically stand here and do the farming. So let me grab a few shovels to just do that and then we can see how this actually works. So I have placed a chest here with some shovels that all have uh, efficiency, mending and unbreaking on it and that should be good enough. So let's start the, the hoppers below and then aim for this slither here which breaks two snow layer each time and because the uh, uh, hopper minecarts are oriented the way they are they should evenly distribute the snowballs uh, uh, on, on both sides uh, so we get uh, the uh, uh, optimal distribution there And I think with uh, the amount of snowballs we collect, we have five double chests. But that is not so much if you think uh, how much uh, uh, snow blocks you can create. Because snowballs, they stack at... Uh, they stack at 16, but snow blocks at uh, 64. And for one snow block, we need four snow balls. So that means uh, we get from one double chest, or from four double chests, we get. A sixteenth of a double chest of snow blocks, so that means we would need uh, sixteen double chests of snowballs for one full double chest of snow blocks. But I think uh, that's not nearly uh, enough uh, for the durability of. Uh, of the of the shovels and as you can see uh, the hoppers cannot even uh, keep up uh, with the amount of uh, items that we harvest here so every once in a while of course we can go uh, through here manually and uh, put in a few of these and that's all of them. So uh, let me uh, gather some more uh, snowballs. And uh, I guess I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.